In this demonstration, you will learn how to create a surface source in SPEOS. In the Light Simulation tab, click on the Surface Source icon. Change the name of the source if needed. If you don't have a measured ray file available, you can create a surface source by simply defining its properties from the source datasheet. Let's see what are the optical properties necessary for its characterization. First of all, the flux. You can define the flux using lumens, watt, or candelas. Then you have to define the emitting surface from your CAD. Validate the selection and check that the rays are correctly oriented. If not, reverse the normal. Then define the intensity distribution. Multiple possibilities are available. If you are using a standard LED, use a 180 degree Lambertian emission. If not, consult the SPEOS user guide to better understand the other definitions. If you choose library, you can even import a YESNA or EULUMDAT file. Then define the spectrum of your source. You can choose between monochromatic, blackbody, or even load a specific spectrum. If you want to know how to convert a spectral diagram to the format required by SPEOS, check out our dedicated video. Compared to a ray file source, a surface source does not contain a limited number of rays and therefore is more suitable for simulations that require a large number of rays, such as human vision simulations. This concludes this demonstration of a SPELS surface source.